Uh, well, I'm really excited. I, I always love coming back to Utah. I'm, I mean, I, I don't think I can ever be here too much as long as, you know, I'm doing something that's um, productive. <laughs> but, you know, even just being able to be with my family and spend time with them, I feel is really productive. I mean, even though it may not seem at, like, oh, I'm not recording or traveling and stuff like that, I think spending time with my family is just as important as any of that stuff. You know, it's just great just being able to come back here in Utah and be able to perform here. I mean, it's a really cool place here at the Rio Tinto. I know it's kind of like, like this kind of like second um, kind of dedication of of the Rio Tinto, and it'll be fun being able to just come and be able to sing. And uh, I got to sing at a Real game a few years ago, and so now this will be my second time. It'll be fun to come back and do it again. And now this time I'll be performing, you know, my own songs after the concert, so that'll be a lot of fun. Well, the pop album, it, it's definitely different from a Christmas album, because with the pop music, you have to f try and find what suits you the best and um, what new things I want to try. There are some things I'd like to kind of experiment with. Definitely want to get more involved with writing this time around. I just... I'm just always kind of nervous with it because it's like, uh, what ideas do I have in my little brain? <laughs> but, you know, because I always feel like I get have writer's block 24-7 with little openings every now and then. But, you know, I, I guess it just takes a lot of time and dedication to do that. It's not like people just come up with songs off. Well, I guess some amazing, you know, people who are just you know, gifted and blessed <laughs> with that ability, are able to come up with songs off the top of their head, but I'm not one of them, unfortunately. So mm -hmm. it takes a lot more time for me to do it, but, you know, it's a challenge. We all are given our weaknesses and challenges, and we learn from them, and that's one of mine. <laughs> uh, well, I definitely feel like there, I certainly wouldn't be here if it weren't for my faith, and just, you know, helping, having that keep me grounded and strong because I think morals have played a lot and people have noticed it and have kind of admired it and it's like, wow, that's so weird. It's not like I'm trying to be this, you know, amazing person. I'm just being myself. So it's neat to know that being yourself um, works and that people can tell that I'm just trying my best to live my life the best way I can and just do what I love to do the best way I can. And there are things that, you know, people a lot of people get caught up in and think that oh well, this is the best thing that could happen to you and the most important thing like oh attention and fame and money but you know it's like I don't know I guess especially after going through this I've come to learn that the simple things in life are the best things it's those simple things in life that I appreciate the most and those are the real memories that stick out to me so it's, it's, it's still like that in music I guess but it's just different experiences along with you know those simple things like getting to spend time with their family and taking out your little sisters to go eat and stuff like that.